Okay, so welcome to our little film series. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do short clips of our paintings. We're gonna present our paintings and talk them, about them a little bit. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, talk a little about the techniques and uh, our thoughts about the the paintings and, and the process. Yeah. And do a little bit of a, a web exhibition, maybe you can call it. Yeah. Let me show you what we do when we're not on adventures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first one I'm going to present is this one. And this is a mix of ink and... Um, yeah, it's mostly ink and a little bit Posca maybe. Uh, fine liners. And this is uh, supposed to be, if you can see, the souls, the souls, and the higher consciousness in the middle that's formed like a face. And the swirl is like uh, life. So that's my thoughts and uh, the techniques I used. Uh, I think it's nice. I'm happy with it. What kind of pencils do you use? I don't know the name of the pencils. <laughs> Tush pencils. Tush pencils. <laughs> I use tush pencils on this. Yes, but it's very... Markers. Yeah, markers you can call them. Mm. And fine liners. And a little bit of Posca pens. Mm. It's uh, acrylic pens. Yeah. Mm. Coloring pens. And then you have the roots here. The roots to your consciousness. What's the name of it? I don't have a name of it. Okay. I usually don't name my uh, my paintings. Mm -hmm. You can name it what you want. If you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And my first one is uh, this painting, or this drawing, you might say, that's supposed to be a self-portrait that I made um, a couple of months ago. You have three eyes? I have three eyes. Oh. It's actually from a photo that I took, and then I um, put some photo effects on it on a web page called Bill Funky. Not that it matters, but anyway. And this is what the photo looked like, and I really liked the effect. So I started to draw it, but with different colors, of course, because I have a thing for colors. Uh, and uh, yeah, I use color pens and Posca pens. Pretty much the same technique as uh, Jonas' previous one. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a portrait of me, and it doesn't have a name. It's called it's Emma. Like this. It's called Emma. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, and uh, the next one I have here is a sorcerer. You see it? I don't know. Yes. And the techniques there is uh, markers, fine liners, and this is a bit of watercolor I added. I had a phase when I when I painted a lot with that. Just it's uh, I think it gives a cool effect to the painting, and a little transparency in the in the colors. That's nice. And this is uh, basically a sorcerer, a black magic. What's the name? Black sorcerer. I think it's cool. Yep. And my second one is also a portrait of me because apparently it seems like I'm a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really make portraits of myself. I usually don't make portraits of myself, but I have two ones that looks really weird, so I thought I might as well show them to you. And uh, this is the other one I have. And uh, it's also from a photo that I took from me. Uh, it's like Jesus. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I just put it, put it there. And some weird, I don't know what this is, like a dollar bill or something. And then I, bill, Jesus. I added some uh, colors to it, which didn't exist on the photo from the beginning. And... Uh, I don't I don't really have that many thoughts about it. It's just uh, me tripping out 
Oh, it's nice. But sober, of course. Yeah. But tripping out with colors and uh, your yeah. mind and my mind. DMT. And that's how it looked like. And then we have something else here. Maybe a portrait of yourself. And, and this is not a portrait of myself, <laughs> but it was there. <laughs> so might as well show it. Hmm. So yeah, that's it. That's our daily daily update. Yeah. Yeah. Over and out. Hope you enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Today I'm going to show a painting uh, inspired by something I have started to do and learn, uh, self-hypnosis, and um, I think it's cool. So uh, yeah, here's the one for today. And for this one I have used uh, fine liners, Posca pens, and uh, charcoal to make the shadows. And it inspired by it because it's uh, this is your inner self and this is a shell that we all create for the tough world. And uh, yeah, it means that we should come out of the shell and live more life. Thank you, Emma. <laughs> and my painting that I've chosen today, or my drawing, I should say, is this one. And uh, this is a doodle that I made while I was in Peru in 2016. Uh, I was there for an art project. Uh, and uh, I think I was sitting in a park drawing this while waiting for something. And then like a year ago I found it in my sketchbook and I, I, I liked the pattern of it. So I took it out of my sketchbook and I made it pattern out of it. <laughs> well, this part I made a pattern out of. And out of that pattern I made a pillow design and the pillow ended up to look like this. That's cool. See, yeah. <laughs> and you can see like part of the eyes here and uh, yeah, some small details that I took from this drawing. And uh, that's my presentation for today. Very good, Gumisnud. Yes. <laughs> Hello, so today is day four of our quarantine series and uh, today we're going to present to you two drawings. Yeah. So Jonna, you want to go first? Yes, today I'm going to present this one. It's made with uh, fine liners, color pencils and ink. And it's got my typical faces here around. And here you have two faces morphed together. And you got a lots of geometric stuff. And this is the opening to the universe from your head. Yeah, that's pretty much it about this one. Hope you like it. Emma, over to you. <laughs> and the one I've chosen for today is this one. This is a drawing I made in 2019. It's a tribute for my love of uh, witchcraft. So it's uh, two witches here and licking the magic from the moon <laughs> and then as always in the middle i have this swirly swirly thingies that always seems to come out when i draw stuff and then there's some mountains here and um, yeah the techniques that i used is uh, watercolors and color pencils and posca pencils and uh, this is my drawing for today so yeah See you tomorrow. Okay, so day five, um, and uh, my contribution is this one. This is a drawing inspired by the artist uh, Hans Arnold. Hans Arnold makes a lot of um, ink drawings, a lot of monsters and weird creatures, which I love. And me and Yone went to his exhibition last winter. And I got really inspired by him, so I made this. And this is uh, this is mostly color pencils, and uh, that's my contribution for today. And for me, it's this one. It's done with the color pencils too and fine liners, and it's like a flip flip over painting. So you can have it that this way, or you can have it that way. It works either or.
free of choice. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. What I want to present today is two cartoons that I made. This one. And this got my uh, signature party hat that usually comes up on my cartoons when I draw stuff. I think this is made in 2016 or 2017. And then my other one is this one. And I made this while I was in Amsterdam, also 2016. And out of these I made uh, a billion different stickers. And amongst those I made this. And uh, yeah, that's my presentation for the day. And I want to show you this one. It's like a surreal animal that I've done this year. And uh, you have the geometric stuff and the swirl eye. And it's made with uh, charcoal and ink and fine liners. That's about it. Thank you. Welcome to day nine. And today I want to present this one to you. This is mostly done with uh, watercolors and a little bit of ink and a, a little bit of color pencils around here. And this is here you have the geometric stuff. And this is supposed to be like a mirror of yourself when you're put in different situations, how you react and such. So this one I want to re represent today. Thank you, Emma. And uh, I found an old sketchbook lying around in my old drawer so I thought I'll show you some portraits that I made a couple of years ago and the first one that I have is uh, this one it fell out from the sketchbook it's a uh, it's a lady called Grynet she's a very badass uh, oh. famous person <laughs> that I made because she's a badass yeah. and then I made this one who is this? this is a random dude that I took from a photo from a magazine just to learn, just to draw it, yeah. just to practice. And um, yeah, it looks like this. It looks a little bit like your father with glasses. Yeah, yeah? maybe I guess. A little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's my uh, that's my designs for today. And this is our designs for today. Yeah, our designs. Yeah. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Okay, so hello and welcome to our last episode of Quarantine Series. Yeah. It's been a fun project yeah. and uh, for sad reasons. Yeah. But uh, we hope to do it sometime again, but for better reasons maybe. Yeah, definitely. But this is for a good reason too, because people are sitting home and they can watch it. So yeah. we hope you like it. Yeah. So do you want to start with your last Yeah, I can start with my design. last. So this is the last one I want to show. It's like a man who is confused. It's done with ink splashes here all around. And fine liners and color pencils. And you have the consciousness coming out from both ways. Yeah. Hope you like it. <laughs> and my last one is this one. I made this a couple of days ago and um, it's as usual just like a monster swirl mess with flowers coming out of the ears. That usually happens when I draw. I don't know what my subconscious mind is trying to tell me but that's always how it ends up being. So yeah, yeah. This, is my, uh, this is my drawing for today or my last drawing. Yeah. <laughs> Not your last drawing. My last drawing for this quarantine series. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Yeah, we hope you like it. You can leave comments below and uh, follow us. Spread the word so we can get bigger and do better stuff. Everything. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Be safe. Be safe.